been doing science for almost 25 years professionally, and I've never seen science sort of move at the pace that it's moving right now. is a bit of a dumpster fire of information. Imagine you went to Ikea and bought 20,000 things, you got home, you dumped all the parts onto your living room floor, and then you burnt the instructions. Looking at our genome is exactly like that. It's the product of three and a half billion years of short-term thinking. In CRISPR and other gene editing technologies, the scientific community has handed the world an incredible tool. The ability to make precise edits to the DNA in living cells, while these technologies could allow us to transform our food, health, and ecological systems, they raise important questions about risks, benefits, ethics, equity, and more. We live in, in the age of, of, of scientific exploration. The question of morality, the question of ethics, it's kind of always coming in tangentially, or it's coming in after the fact. I feel like that orientation or that framing is problematic. At CRISPR-Con, we know that the science behind CRISPR and other gene editing technologies is just one piece of the puzzle. Just as essential is dialogue among those developing and governing the technology and the people whose lives could be impacted by it. For a lot of people, this is life or death. I wouldn't say I'm afraid of the technology, just that I am suspicious of it. That's why CRISPR-Con is focused on science, society, and the future of gene editing. Rather than a traditional science conference, CRISPR-Con is a dialogue across disciplines and perspectives. Launched in 2017 in Berkeley, California, CRISPR-Con traveled to Boston in 2018 and is now expanding within the United States and internationally. This unique forum brings together a broad range of voices to discuss the future of gene editing technologies across applications, including agriculture, health, environment, and more. When we start valuing it, different opinions, all parts of the world, all um, demographics, then we can start um, looking at a proper solution. You have a stake in the future of gene editing, whether you know it or not. Learn how to join the conversation at crispercon.org.